Hi, I'm Jill. This is Daniel, and we are excited to be here with you guys today. Um, you're going to see a video of our kids, Clark, Maya, and Christian, a little bit later. Um, but we are all excited that you guys are here learning with us today. So our story comes from John 11. If you have a Bible, let's grab that right now and turn there. Are you ready? Now here's the story. Jesus and Lazarus were friends. Lazarus lived in the town of Bethany in Judea with his sisters, Mary and Martha. One day, Lazarus got sick. Mary and Martha sent a message to Jesus. Lord, your friend Lazarus is sick, they said. Jesus told his disciples, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. This sickness will bring glory to God and to the Son of God. Jesus stayed where he was for two more days. Then Jesus said, let's go back to Judea. By the time Jesus arrived in Bethany, Lazarus had been in a tomb for four days. Martha hurried to meet Jesus, but Mary stayed home. Martha said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Martha knew Jesus could do a miracle. I know God will give you whatever you ask, she said. Jesus replied, your brother will rise again. Martha believed that Lazarus would rise from the dead in the future, on the last day. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die, ever. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, said Martha. I believe you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Martha went back to her house. She told Mary that Jesus was wanting to see her. So Mary left the house, and all the people who had come to comfort Mary and Martha followed her. Mary fell at Jesus' feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Mary was crying, and Jesus wept too. Mary led Jesus to the tomb where Lazarus was buried. It was a cave, and a huge stone covered the opening. Remove the stone, Jesus said. So the stone was moved aside. Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you heard me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus came out of the tomb, wrapped in linen and cloth. Jesus said, unwrap him, let him go. That story is so cool. I love how Jesus worked a miracle right before their eyes. Lazarus had been dead for a while. He was already wrapped in linens, like a mummy, and placed in a tomb. But that couldn't stop Jesus. Now let's watch a game show to remind us of this truth. Hi, I'm Clark Edwards, your holy host from the Holy Ghost. And today we're back, welcome back to another episode of Bible Beaters! A game show where we, make, where we take totally real Bible stories and, make, and play totally made-up games. Let's meet our contestants. Here's Maya. She's in fourth grade. She loves pizza. She loves running real fast and smiling. Let's hear it for Maya! Game on. All right, here's Christian. He's in third grade. He loves football. He's number 64 in football and number one in our hearts. Let's hear it for Christian! Going down! All right. This game is called Make Me a Mummy. You have 60 seconds to wrap your opponent in toilet paper. Maya and Christian, have you already decided who's going first? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do that right now. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, Christian. Now, Christian, do you have a strategy for how you're going to beat Maya? Yes, I'm going to run really fast around circles to in toilet paper to money find her. Okay. Well, let's put a minute on the clock. Christian, are you ready? Yes. Go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You ripped it. I did. <laughs> no! He ripped it. I think I got it. Okay. Careful. I'm good. You ripped it again. I don't care. You ripped it again. Three. No. 30 seconds. 30 seconds right now. <laughs> I don't know where you're going. <laughs> okay, I think I got that. <laughs> oh, yeah, go for the legs. Yeah. 
Thanks for joining us today, guys. We are looking forward to seeing you real soon in person, maybe. If not, right, if you're not ready for in person, come on back. We're going to be online for a little while, too. Bye.